good audio right now, professional audio as you would call it, because my cable thing is not like 10 feet long. Your cut though. But today I want to go through, rearrange my collection, because why not? Why not do this? Why not make a video like this? You know? Let me see if I could help. No. So why not make a video like this? Rearrange it. I got an array of figures here. Batman, Dracula, Krennic, Superman, and Deathstroke, and Mud Trooper. So what are we going to do with all these? What are we going to do? So this is a come along and repose with me type of video. Okay, I want to start off with um, Batman. So, here is what we're working with first. The Batman. I don't know where it's going to go. Um, this is basically a collector's vlog of like our issues when we get a bunch of figures and we're like, we got to rearrange now because you can't just start si you can't just start sticking stuff left and right. It just it has to go somewhere. And then I'm going to scope it out. Um, what needs to be moved around? I forgot I had that figure down there. John Big Dick Wick. I don't know if you can see it right there. This is going to be the camera angle. I'm just going to be, basically you guys are, this is almost like a live stream. You guys just sit and watch, relax and enjoy and do whatever you want to do at your free time. I'm not, I'm not here to judge you. I promise. And if my head's out of frame, I'm sorry because that's just how life works. You have to see my collection, not my Infection. So honestly, I don't know what to do now because I just, the Batman is taking up a lot of space. Okay, here's my plan. I have these military figures down here. I think what I'm going to do is move them out of the collection space for now. I'm going to put it to the side. We're not leaving my collection space. My Dan Toys FBI SWAT agent, I was supposed to sell. I was supposed to sell that guy and it didn't happen. I don't know why. So, FBI SWAT team guy out with, along with Galactech, Galactac, and um, for you guys who don't know, this is my updated collection. This is all of what I have here. I've got uh, one fourth Batman to the side as well here on my desktop. But this is all I got as of now. So if you guys are wondering where what happened to this figure, it's all gone, gone. Okay, so I got this idea now. I have space. I'm gonna move my one fourth Batman over into this area. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm thinking about, since I have an empty space down here, I'm gonna remove one of the glass pieces and put the one fourth scale Batman in there and then put my desktop figures as Superman and tactical suit Batman over there because those are really nice centerpieces as a desk art piece. So I kind of want it there, but then again, the one four scale Batman does look good on the desk. So then, what will I do? I just came up with a quick thing. The Death Trooper, he can go back as behind Tarkin. I'm gonna move the Death Trooper behind Tarkin because Tarkin with who? Direct acrylic. Magnificent, you slumber bug. Recta Krennic. Beautiful figure. Marvelous. Marvelous figure. I love it. Manual auto. I love this figure. I really do. It's just something amazing. I think the place is looking a bit blue. So let's go ahead and put him down here. Magnificent figure. I really love Rogue One figures. Alright, so. Direct Krennic. DK. Donkey Kong. Dairy Queen is next to Tarkin. And it's looking fabulous. I like that look next to Tarkin. I think that is going to be the final result on where Director Krennic will sit. Now, Batman I have put to the side. I'm not too sure on Batman. Um, and now we have a Mud Trooper. A Mud Trooper? Where would the Mud Trooper go? You're thumping me. Matter of fact, I think, I think Ray. She can go behind Old Man Kenobi and 
Chewy, a New Hope Chewy, because really, quite frankly, I wouldn't have this on display if it wasn't for Susan Strange. Uh, Susan, who used to be with Sideshow, but Susan Strange gave this to me at a uh, Star Wars celebration in Orlando, and ever since then, it's been dear to me. So, I'm keeping it. I'm never going to sell this. This is one of those never sell pieces, so that was really cool. A really cool experience at uh, Celebration. So this, I think, will go behind Old Man Kenobi and Chewie. So now we have that. We have a little bit of space over here. This is looking to be a Batman, high-strung Batman shelf. So I'm thinking about moving Obi-Wan off of the high ground and under. Um, I don't want to do it because Obi-Wan needs the highest ground, right? So I don't want to put Luke above or Anakin above, but I want Anakin above all else, as well as Obi-Wan, because Anakin is my favorite Star Wars character ever. Um, so, I don't know. All right, so just looking at stuff real quick, I think I'm gonna put Batman, prestige Batman with Deathstroke down underneath my Batflex. That way it's kind of a bat shelf. It'll, it'll look good, I think it'll look good. So let's get prestige bats over here. Get him looking this way. And then I think, since I took the stand away from Deathstroke to put on my Superman, as you know, if you would've watched the video, because it doesn't hurt the suit as much, but this is looking real nice right here. Yeah, this is going. This is looking real good, side by side, Deathstroke with bats. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that looks really nice right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the camera when I'm done and show you each shelf. Of, kind of like a collection update, but it's more of a showcase of what I've done. Kind of just it's just a laid back video, guys. Chill, don't hate on me. Nope, scratch that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the one fourth Batman over there. I'm gonna move the Prestige and Deathstroke to the side lower the Nightmare Bats and the Justice League Bats into the third shelf down, and then I'm going to put Superman up top by himself in one detail under Obi-Wan. So that way it's kind of like a, a thing right there. Or I was thinking, move all my Star Wars over, move Obi-Wan pushing over basically, and then, you know, it basically goes like this. So, Obi-Wan, Chewie lowers, they lower, they go over, they go over, they go over, look, and then so on, because I have way more Star Wars than Batman. You think? Oh my god. I probably went through at least 45 minutes, non-stop rewiring. Um, but, it's all said and done. So, you're not gonna realize anything. But if you refer to my last clip, just go back 20 seconds and this whole like line went. Beep. So imagine rewiring all of those lightsabers. It was hell. I literally, I'm sweating. I, I cannot. It's very hard on my brain. Anyway, we just got that done. Uh, had a little issues. Because um, certain figures for the certain figures for the lightsabers um, require a nine volt or twelve volt. Like I think Yoda is a nine volt. Everyone else is twelve volts. So I'm gonna have to. I, I, I had to go through and see like you know like who's who and what's what. Sorry if you can't hear me or if you can, cool. But um, now that all that's done and through, I have space now exactly exactly what I want so that being said half of Darth Maul's lightsaber is not functioning correctly I'm gonna have to go through and see what's up with that maybe it needs a new unit I don't have an extra one Chris can you send me one please thank you um, but but buddy but but I do have room for what is now 
Superman box and the detail. Hopefully it fits. Please fit. And he does. Oh my god, just barely. But but it does fit. So that is one reason why I didn't like the flight stand. That's one reason I didn't like the flight stand. Is because of that reason right there. You cannot fit him in the detail with that flight stand. So that just that just knocks it out. It, I don't want that in there. Um, but as you can see, things are looking good so far. Mud Trooper going right there. Um, I don't have the pose nailed down for the Mud Trooper, but this is the best I can do. So that's what he's going to get. I'm going to go back and repose that Mud Trooper. And then you must be wondering, well, what you do with those tactical figures? So those tactical figures, I'm going to go ahead and fill that little slot down below right there. When I do get more Star Wars figures, they're going to go behind John Wick. So that's my emergency movement system right there. <sighs> Ta-da! And we are done. So this is what it is. This is how it looks. Now let me pick up the uh, camera and show you guys exactly what's going on. Okie dokie. So here we have... Here we have the bats. Uh, Batman, DC kind of. I'm going to brighten up a little bit. So here we have the DC kind of, sort of, um, detolf, I would say. This whole line connecting with my um, showcase for the Prime One statue. So that is where Superman goes now. Pretty good up top. I don't like this Justice League base. That's why I said he needed another base. It, it, it's very, I don't know, it's... It didn't really do justice, no pun intended, for the Superman because it just it just raises the figures way too high, and my D12 lights can't really capture it. Um, as you can see, Obi Wan's being dramatically captured, as whereas he's not really getting the full light exposure he needs, but he does look good in that showcase, so that's a good thing. He's top shelf now, and then my Batman's down there. They just stayed. And then I filled up an empty space down here with the Deathstroke and um, Prestige Bats. I have my BBS Bats over here looking all sexy. And then I decided to leave what is the one fourth Batman over here. So he's staying right there as it is. He's not going to change. I don't feel like he should change um, location. But let's go how we moved over Obi-Wan and he's looking great. Nice lightsaber effects. And then we have Luke, which didn't change. Stayed the same. Um, uh, but uh, I don't know if I want to move him, move the Stormtroopers behind the Mud Trooper. Being that more little effect of being a trooper. I'm gonna change his, I'm gonna change his pose a little bit. At the bottom, as you can see, I have my little helmets. Little random helmets. But uh, that's not too much, too of a crazy looking stuff. but. Here we have Anakin. Now Anakin is dead center, which I do like because Anakin being dead center, um, it just kind of looks better because he's the center of it all, you know? So that kind of makes sense. But the blue lightsabers and such, looking nice and fancy. Get a little focus. Anyways, going down, Maul stayed the same. Gonna have to fix his lightsaber. As you can see, half of him is kind of working and half is on all the way so gonna have to fix that up boba fett second figure ever um he stayed the same boba fett helmet john wick he stayed the same down there he's still chilling like a villain and then here is the um troopers that will move off to the side behind him when more figures do arrive moving up above john wick we have director krennic and tarkin which they look lovely. I love the way they look. They look amazing in the details. Um, can't complain there. It's very nice. I hope it's focused. I can't see on this little itty bitty screen, but um, both of them looking real nice together. I like them two together. It's very commanding. And I heard you can pop his little badge thing off. Somebody tell me how to do that. Then we have the Snow Trooper, which stayed the same as well. He's he's one of my favorite Trooper figure designs. Really like his uh, his look. He has a very nice nice like design 
for a very old movie, you know? It's kind of crazy how some of these designs. And then we have the big boss up here, which he didn't, didn't change too much, just moved over. No lightsaber effects for him, so he just moved over from the center to the side over here, which he's looking great. He just looks awesome. I love him. I, I know I battered his throne when it came out in the review, but his throne looks really good in a detail or any display uh, with him sitting on it and his clothes is amazing how it just falls. As you can see how it just falls. It just looks so real. And then his royal guard. Looking all nice. These two were a doozy. Um, these two were a doozy. Um, what kind of effect we're getting here with the glass? But these two were a doozy because of the fact of them having a lightsaber. Ah, I smell something burning. Interesting. But I don't know what's going on with the color on these. I think it's the orange, red and green messing up with the lens lighting. But um, these two were a doozy because of all the lightsaber lightings. 9 volts and 12 volt and which lead has to go. And under my d is a big huge mess. It's just a big mess of wires. But... Um, Below them, we have Stormtroopers, da, da, da. And then they didn't, obviously they don't need much work. Just looks good, you know? It just looks good, Stormtroopers. Love my porcelain. Steamy, what's up? Love my porcelain. Um, as you can see, they're looking great. I love my little Stormtrooper case. And then below them is Obi-Wan Kenobi and that uh, magnificent gal right there. And Chewie, which, Chewie always looks awesome. I love that the new of Chewie. They look cool, super cool in their lights. And then once again, my um, military figs. So, here it is again. Uh, more of a backup view on them. I hope you can get a good idea of what it looks like now. Just a little collection update, as well as a little, hey, come with me and, and do whatever. One fourth Batman right there. And then here we have, uh, Prime One Studios Batman. I don't know if I went over him too much, but man, he's a magnificent looking guy. I really love this Prime One statue. And I'm holding back on buying the Hot Toys figure because this statue, obviously, look at that stand. Stand is beast. The statue obviously completely takes it out. Mother Box, and then that beautiful thing right there. <laughs> Mother Box, Xbox. <laughs> Get it? No, okay. My only issue is Superman right now. He's not getting enough light on his face. I don't like how much light he's getting, and it's not enough um, in the face. So um, let me open that up so you can see exactly what's the issue here. See, it's just not enough light on his face. Of course, I put it forward, forward, forward. That's what I want, right? But look at the stand. I mean, the stand is just sticking out here. You can't have that. So gonna have to figure out what to do and then Batman's looking good of course nightmare bats I mean who he, you can't even you can't deny it. that's one of the best figures Hot Toys has ever made gosh if it wasn't for that pleather coat I would be obsessed with, obviously I'm obsessed with it now but I'm just just saying and then a tactical suit Batman beautiful design amazing design it's funny how the design of the actual suit of the movie not the tactical suit but the original suit of the justice league movie to me it sucked i don't know it just didn't have that kind of zest to it but um let me see Ooh. so all right guys thank you for coming along this journey with me of reorganizing my figures i hope you understand what i did here just a little fun video to mix it up because it's always same old reviews by and pass and all that kind of stuff so i want to give you a something else to look at uh, besides nipples and, and toes so hope you like what you saw here on these company collectibles um as you can see bat or uh, superman is sticking out way more because of that light uh above his head now see how he's sticking out now and then push him back slowly and he closes right that closes perfectly right there and he's dark again see that's a little bit of an issue see how it's dark again and then Palpatine, this looks dark. It looks dark in Palpatine's little thing because he's all black and the camera is kind of not showing up. But um, that's why. Other than that, lightsaber are sticking out like crazy. But I like this look. Very nice. If you like what you saw here in East Company Collectibles, make sure you subscribe. My crazy uh, helmet up there. Batman, Arkham Origins, reaching out for you. 
See you guys. Hope you get more gems.